Hello, I'm Dr. Feather. It has been a long time. How are you feeling? Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm fine, thank you for asking. You're here today for an eye examination, is that correct? Okay, let me just have a look at your chart. When was your last exam? That long ago. All that matters is that you're here today. Can't change the past. Only move forward, right? Have you been experiencing any issues with your vision? And do you have a family history of eye disease? Okay. What I want you to do when you go home is talk to your family about their uh, medical histories. And if they don't know, have them ask their parents or their family members. Yeah. Yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's very important to know your family medical history. It's key in detecting uh, certain diseases and it's key in preventing certain diseases because then you'll know if you have to be screened more often. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can go home and call the office with that information. We just like to have it on file. Do you know if you have any family history of diabetes? I see that the nurse left a note stating that you tend to experience anxiety during eye examinations. Is that why you haven't had one recently? It's okay. It's perfectly normal not to want anyone poking around your eyes. Luckily, almost everything you'll experience today involves little to no physical contact. I will be looking at the interior of your eyes, but a lot of the examination is reading charts, identifying colors, uh, describing how things appear to you. Right, so there will be times when I will be very close to your face. So your biggest worry should be whether or not I have bad breath. <laughs> okay, and luckily for you, I brushed my teeth today, so you should have nothing to worry about. If at any point you need a break or a breather or if you just feel too crowded by me, let me know and we can take a pause in the exam, okay? I will try my best to make it as comfortable for you as I can. Okay. Since it has been a while, since your last exam, I'm going to be very thorough, and that means that the appointment can be very lengthy. Have you set aside time today? Okay, so you don't need to reschedule. Perfect. At no point should you feel any pain during the exam. But if you do, I want you to let me know right away. I also want you to be as honest as possible when you answer questions. 
I don't want any guesswork. I need you to tell me how things look to you and not how you think they should look to you. Because your answers determine my course of action, which ultimately determines your eye health. All right? Great. Now you'd be surprised. Okay. I'd like to show you a chart of the eye. I show this to some of my more nervous patients. I'm just going to show you the parts of the eye that I'm going to be examining today so that you understand the terminology when I say it. Because sometimes medical terminology itself can make people feel a little apprehensive and nervous, okay? I'm going to be examining your iris. Your iris is the part of your eye that controls the size of your pupil. It's the part of the eye that is colored. So when someone says that they have brown eyes or blue eyes, or green eyes, they're talking about the color of their iris. I'm also going to be taking a look at your pupil and your pupil is that black area in the center of your eye. I'll be having a look at the conjunctiva. The conjunctiva is lining on the inside of your eyelids and it also covers the sclera. The sclera is the white part of your eye. Okay? So you have nothing to worry about. It's not scary. You're in good hands. Do you have any questions about this? No? Okay. If you do, just stop me and we can talk about it, okay? I'd like to Put your chart next to you if that's okay, in case I need to write anything down. And I'm going to put on some gloves. They're going to help protect your health and mine, okay? No, they're not latex. We don't use latex anymore in this office. We find that it's a lot easier to just forego the latex to protect those who are allergic instead of ordering both kinds of gloves. I'd like to start with the external examination of your eyes. I'm just going to come close and have a look at them. I'm just looking at symmetry. I'm checking for flaking in the eyebrows and on the eyelids. I'm going to examine the surrounding tissue of the eye. I'm checking for any lesions. Swelling. All right, now I'd like to have a look at your palpable fissure. It's just a fancy name for the separation between your upper and lower eyelid. So, you're doing great.
Now, I'm going to palpate the orbital rim on either side. It's okay. I'm just, it's going to feel like a mini massage around your eye. I'm just going to press all around your eye. Okay? Do this side first. Checking for any irregularities. So far, so good. Other side. Okay. Good. How is that? Do you feel okay with me being that close? Okay, great. Now, I'm going to have a look at your conjunctiva and sclera. So I'm going to need to dim the lights and shine a light in your eye, okay? Great. Use this little light. I'm going to come very close. You let me know if you need a break. I know it's bright, but it's completely painless. I'm going to retract your upper and lower lids with my hands and I need you to look in the direction that I tell you, okay? Okay. So, look to the right. And to the left. Look up and down for me. Great. We're going to do the other side. Look to the left. To the right. Look up and down. Okay. I'm also going to have a look at your cornea and iris. So, just more of the light. So we're going to have a nice little pause from me being so close to you. And I'm going to test your visual acuity, okay? I'm going to turn the lights back on. Going to remove these for now. I 
I'm going to test your visual acuity in a couple of different ways. Okay. In the first way, I'm going to test your visual acuity is with the Rosenbaum test. I'm going to give you this. I want you to hold it with one hand in front of you, about four arms length apart from you, and I'm going to tell you what I want you to recite, okay? I'm going to stand on the side of you and see how you do. I can come on this side. Is that better? Okay, here you go. Good, that's a good distance. And I want you to cover one eye and read the smallest line you can. Take your time. Okay. Now, switch eyes. Good. And read the smallest line you can backwards, please. Now, please keep both eyes open and read the smallest line you can with both eyes. Okay. Thank you. Well, the next part is the Snellen eye chart. It's that chart behind me. I'm going to stand at your side again. And let me get my little pointer. This is going to be similar to the Rosenbaum test. I want you to cover one eye and read the smallest line you can for me. Okay, now switch your other hand over your other eye and read the smallest line you can for me backwards. Okay. Read this line for me. Oh, good. And what about this one? Go one at a time. Okay. Thank you. Just take that. How are you feeling, okay? We can keep going. Okay, now we're going to test your visual fields and ocular motility. I'm just going to set this down right next to you. I'm going to cover one of my eyes with one of my hands and I'd like you to do the same on the same side. I'm going to wiggle my finger and I want you to say yes when you see the finger move, okay? Alright, other side. 
hand over your eye. Good. Now, both eyes. Tell me when you see my finger wiggle, okay? All right, now I want you to cover one eye again, and I want you to identify what number I hold up, okay? Other side. Very good. And now for simultaneous number identification, use both eyes, okay? Very good. You're doing great. Do you need to rest? Okay. All right. Now I'm going to ask you to follow my finger with your eyes while keeping your head still. Okay? Follow my finger. I'm going to test for convergence. Good. That test tests your extraocular muscles, your interior, superior, lateral, medial, obliques. Yeah, you have oblique muscles in your eyes. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at your pupils. I'd like you to look ahead. I'm going to shine this flashlight right on your nose and I'm going to see if the reflection is slightly nasal to the pupils in both of your eyes, making sure there's no asymmetry and strabismus. Okay. Now I'm going to test your pupillary reaction. So I'm going to dim the lights again and shine a light in your eyes again. All right. Okay, this test is called the swinging flashlight test. I'm going to swing the light into your eyes. I'm testing for optic nerve anomalies. I'm noting 
if both pupils constrict when exposed to light and noting if both pupils dilate when the light moves away. That's called a consensual response or PEARL which is an acronym for pupils are equal and reactive to light. Now, I'm going to test accommodation, so I'd like you to look at my finger and now look behind me at the wall. Let's do that one more time. At my finger and now behind me. going to keep the lights dim and I'm going to turn to my ophthalmoscope for the next test, okay? Now before I use the ophthalmoscope, I need to dilate your eyes with drops. You can do it, I know you can. I'm going to help you. Don't worry. Put this on the side. Okay? Tilt your head back for me. Good. Open your eyes wide. One. And one more. Other eye. One. And one more. Okay. Blink a couple times. Yep. Good. Now that's going to take a couple minutes to work. So while we wait, let's do some color tests, okay? This is fun and easy. I'm just going to turn the light on. First test is a color blindness test. I'll even use my special pointer that I use with my younger patients. It's a little hand with a ruby ring. Okay. What number do you see in this circle? Good. What about this one? Okay. This one? What about this one? How about this one? And lastly, what number do you see? Very good. High five. 
Yeah, the kids get a kick out of it. I just set this aside. Okay. I'm going to take you back to kindergarten. I want you to identify what color you see. And what color is this? And what color is this? Okay. Perfect. Last. Test in this group. Tests age-related macular degeneration. Okay. I want you to cover one eye with one hand and stare at this black dot. How does the paper appear to you? Are any lines wavy or missing? Okay. Other eye cover. Good. Stare at the black dot. How does the paper appear to you? Any abnormalities that you can see? Okay. If you had seen any, it could be indicative of age-related macular degeneration. But we're okay. If you want, you can print out this test online. It's really easy to find. And you can hang this paper on your refrigerator and do the test each morning. And if you see any wavy lines or spaces, you give my office a call, okay? Alright. Okay, I think we should be about ready. For the ophthalmoscope, I'm going to dim the lights again. I'm going to put gloves on again, just because I'm going to be touching your eye. No, I'm going to be touching the area around your eye, not your eyeball. Don't worry. This is an ophthalmoscope. I'm going to look through here, and I'm going to see your eye through here. It's going to shine a little light whenever I press this. I am going to come very close to you, close to the point that I might touch your lashes, okay? You let me know if you need me to stop. Okay. What I'm doing is, I'm locating a vessel and following it all the way to your optic disc and then I'm going to follow it in and out through the four quadrants and to the macula. Okay, 
You all right? I know, you'll, you'll see those spots for a little while, but it's okay. They're not gonna hurt. Is it okay if I do your other eye? Okay. You're doing great. Just finding that vessel and following it to the optic disc and in the four quadrants and finally to the macula Good job. Blink a couple times. It'll take a few minutes for those little dots to go away. Okay. I'm going to turn the lights back on and test your corneal reflex. Okay. to take this little cotton applicator and make a point with it. I'm just going to come in very close and lightly stay still. Okay, take a breath. I'm just going to touch the tip of the applicator to your eye, okay? You ready? Stay still for me. There you go. You blinked, which means the reflex is intact. Okay, you did great. All right, remove these. And your last test is the refraction test. You ready? Great. I'm not going to be poking anything in your eyes. Don't worry. I want you to look ahead at that big letter E on the Snellen eye chart. All right? I'm going to show you a series of lenses and I want you to identify which lens you see more clearly out of. Okay? Let me just get the machine ready. Okay, are you comfortable? Here comes the first lens. One, or two. Which one was better? Oh, well, yes, you can say, or about the same. Okay, here comes the next set. One, or two. Was it better, worse, or about the same? Next set. One. Two. One or two or about the same. And the last set. 
One. Or two. Better, worse, or about the same. Just hang out for a second. I'm going to let it write down the results. You can take a big breath now. You're all done. Okay. We are finished. Exhale. You did a great job. It wasn't so bad. I'm going to give you the slip of paper. You bring it to the associates in the front, and they will advise you if you need to fill out any further paperwork. Okay. Hold on to that. Okay. Because I dilated your pupils, I want you to forego driving for a few hours. Your eyes are going to be very sensitive to light. So, if possible, I want you to wear sunglasses or a large brimmed hat. I have a disposable pair I can give you, sure. Just slip these on when you go out. And when you get home, you can hang on to them or toss them out. They're not very fashionable, but they will do the job. Okay. So hold on to that as well. Before you leave, you should consider scheduling your next appointment. Since you were a little unclear on your family medical history, it's important to get frequent checkups in case you have health conditions like diabetes, macular degeneration, glaucoma, or corneal disease that might run in your family. We recommend those who are 65 and older to have an eye examination annually and those who are younger than 65, to have one every other year. Okay. I think you have everything. You did a good job. Relax, it's done. It was a pleasure seeing you again, and I'm glad it was under such good terms. Have a great night.